So I'm in the area of Glendale. Glendale's got a very large uh, Armenian population. Armenians love to party, have lots of food. Uh, but I'm going to take you guys through pretty much this area and you can see what it looks like. I'll take you all through a, the beautiful car. You have a Starbucks here. It's kind of funny because the ones in certain areas close earlier, but I guess the ones in these areas stay open later. But uh, I'll take you all through. It's a cute dog. Thank you. So I'll show you guys the rest of it. So yeah, so this is kind of the area. Um, like I said, lots of really like upscale apartments. You'll notice lots of nice cars. Armenians love to drive nice cars, especially Beamers. They love to drive Beamers. Um, so here you got a butcher and booze place. I guess you can get your meat and your liquor. That sounds very Armenian <laughs> for for lack of better terms. Get your beef and get your beer. See, like I said, you're gonna see lots of cars and they love the color black. Armenians love black cars. And I can say this, I worked with them, but I love those people, but they love, they love their nice cars. As you can see here, lots of nice cars. So, This is uh, some type of a restaurant here, La Bella. Oh, Italian cuisine, okay. Okay, Italian cuisine in Glendale, La Bella. I'll keep going to show you all more. So here you have a furniture area but I want to take you all through where there's more um, where there's more stuff that's um, more stuff that's open. Like I said, lots of lots of nice black cars. Like I said, lots of Beamers, Beamers, Infinities, lots of nice cars. So here you have a furniture furniture outlet here. It's crazy how expensive furniture is these days. It's just wild how much life and cost has just gone up. And there's a nice little spot here. I'm not sure what it is exactly. But it's some type of uh, some type of a cuisine spot. Looks pretty. Smells like hookah. So maybe, yeah, it's, it's a hookah spot. Ooh, I gotta get away from that smell. I don't do well with. Whew. I don't do well with smells like tobacco. It makes me sick. But uh. Here you have the city bank. This is right here on Lexington Avenue. And then like I said here, you have this restaurant here. And it's uh, pretty much people just smoking hookah, eating food. Um, man, you can smell it even across the street. All right, I gotta get, a, gotta get away from it because that's gonna make me nauseous. Oof. Yeah, I don't know how people smoke. For you smokers out there, I don't know how you guys do it. <sighs> so, yeah, so most of uh, most of Glendale is Armenian dominant. So you'll find a lot of Armenian businesses, 
a lot of Armenian uh, advertisements. Um, one way to know it's Ar Armenian if the name ends in I-A-N or Y-A-N is Armenian. So like here's a perfect example. So if we look at the, the sign here, show you guys here. So, you see, look at the names. So, I A N, I A N, I A N, I A N, I A N. So, these are all definitely Armenian owned businesses. Yeah, I believe most Armenian names, if not all, end in I-A-N or Y-A-N. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know. I forget, I think I heard that from a friend in high school. Uh, but, we got some late night cleaning. You can see here, gentleman's cleaning up. One thing about Glendale is it is a very, very nice, clean area. They, they do keep their, their area clean, which is re really, really beautiful. All right, you got a nice looking McDonald's up here. Let me get past this guy here. You have a pretty, pretty nice McDonald's over here. Uh, some different business suites. You get people walking around. How you doing, sir? Then you have these locations here. So this is pretty much some more of the area. So you have everything from like auto, motorcycle, bankruptcy, family law, immigration, slip and fall, dog bite, criminal, corporate business, traffic, DUI, work injury. Wow. So they pretty much got, got everything here. JHP, it turns okay. So these are some of the different businesses you'll you'll see here one thing too about los angeles that's really nice is there's always buses um running running for the most part so you'll always have the opportunity to like you know get on a bus which is uh which is nice if, if you need it. it could be kind of dangerous but you know the one interesting to, thing too with la is you know as much destruction as the city is going i mean look at all this new infrastructure infrastructure that's being built it's unbelievable how much is being built in this city so you know you wonder how bad is the economy here if they're always building and where are these people getting all this money from to keep to keep doing all this stuff it's it's kind of a it's kind of fascinating like i said i'll show you some more here this looks like it's going to be a new apartment complex. So, this is all more stuff being built. And this is in the Glendale area. Um, also, too, in Glendale, you have the Glendale Galleria, which is a huge, huge shopping mall. There's always stuff there to kind of take a look at. It's always popular there. Um... You got all these super nice luxury uh, apartments. So that's always something that's kind of going on in Glendale. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, this is all the building material, I guess that's being used on this project here. Let me get out the way. So, as you, can, as you can see here, there's all sorts, of, uh, all sorts of building projects here in the city. So you got all this stuff that's being built. Um, yeah, like I said, um, you know, I wonder where all these people in LA are getting their money from to, to keep doing all this.
think I can go through this way to get back, yeah. So, like I said, lots of, uh, lots of building work being done here. It's pretty nice. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's a pretty city. It's a really, really pretty city. You got all this building being built. It's a really, really nice area. Wow, that's impressive. I think this is going to be an apartment complex. Something along those lines. So show you guys here. There you go. So this is going to look like it's going to be some type of uh, apartment complex. But uh, it's a relatively nice city. It's really clean. Like I said, you have lots of uh, office spaces, areas where you can like uh, go apartments. It's, it's a nice area. It's a really, really beautiful area. So, and then people usually go for walks. They take their dogs out. Like I said, there's a lot of food places here that are open kind of late. So you kind of have that luxury too if you're into going out late to get food. I'll continue. To walk with you guys here. Let's see here. I believe I parked on the other side. Yeah, I parked this way. Actually, I want to walk this way because I don't want to go through the, um, I don't want to go through that hookah spot just because the smell was so strong. Where did I park is the question. Uh, I think I parked, maybe I passed it. Might have passed my area. No, there's that spot. So that was right next to what I was next to. So, okay, so I didn't come the right way. parked one street over from here if I'm not mistaken yeah I parked one more street down 